Did you guys look out the window? Gross. Mimi, we've been looking for her for like 20 minutes about. And it is 10 times over the legal standard. I would recommend a full decontamination. 10 times the legal limit. No wonder I was sick. Mm-hmm. It's snowing outside. We moved to this place <laughs> to be warm. And it's snowing. Ali and Danielle are supposed to drive to Utah County today and I'm not sure that's gonna be the best idea for them. Did you guys look out the window? Yeah, you probably want to look out the window. Oh no. Ew, I hate it. <laughs> Gross. It was 80 degrees the other day. I'm you good. don't want to look? No, nope, I'm good. <laughs> it's, it's nice outside. It's nice and warm. Time to get up. Look outside, hurry. What the heck? Is it snowing? It's sticky snow, it's so much snow! That's a lot of snow. What the heck? That is a lot of snow. Have you ever gotten in a hot tub when it's snowing? I have, but I don't know if anybody else has. We should. Let's do it. But we have school and all this other stuff. Uh, Let's go. Okay. Boys, look out the window. What? Hurry! Not for like nine more days. Allie and Danielle, I would consider not going, not going either. It's it's ugly out here, way ugly, and it's not going to get any better. And the choice is yours, but I would suggest not going. Yeah, it's going to get worse. And besides that, the temperatures are below freezing, so it's snowing oh, and below freezing. It's That's be ice. not good. Yeah. So. It makes me mad. So let's all go get in the hot tub because it's snowing and I've never been in the hot tub when it's snowing. Yeah, let's do it. Charlie, snowing hot tub? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Boys, you want to get in the hot tub with it snowing? No. Let's go check it out. Get your swimsuits on. Hi, Charlie Boo. It's like, I'm cold. Oh boy, look at this. Look at that. That is some wet snow. Oh boy. What? It's cold, huh? Oh, my feet hurt. Ouch. So, kids have school this morning, and it is bright out here. I should have brought my glasses. Sun's not out, but it's bright. Kids have school this morning, but we're like, you know what? We don't get snow here very often, especially snow like this. So, let's go out and enjoy it. And it's not enough to make a snowman, so we said, let's go out and get in the hot tub. So, we're ditching school for the morning for a moment. And we are hanging out in the hot tub waiting for Az and Canyon. And Allie is going to be upset for the whole entire day, probably. Her whole weekend is ruined. Allie, just like me, just like anybody, I guess, gets things in her head in terms of expectation of how things are going to go down. And if they don't work out because of something else other than her decision, she doesn't do well with it. That's his life, but it doesn't make it any easier, right? Oh, there's Danielle. Danielle! There's Danielle. Hurry, hurry in. Dude, I like your hair. You look like Heck. Wolverine. You look like, you just like Heck. Wolverine. Where's Kenyon? Up in the toy room. Is he coming? Yeah, he's just getting his toys. <laughs> There's Gigo. So what we have here is an opportunity. Who's gonna go down that slide first? To be the first one, probably the only one, because you really can't go and get the snow after that. Who's gonna do it? Savannah. Oh, Savannah's doing it, and so is Lizzie. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, go for it. Go, Lizzie. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Whoa. Holy cold on my knees. Good job, girls. They did it. You go move my spot. I did it. Okay, I was just barely outside for like five minutes looking for Mim, because we went out in the hot tub and we came back in and we can't find her. We've been looking for her for like 20 minutes about, and she's not anywhere we can find her. And so we're, we've been checking everywhere. I'm trying to think of a place I haven't checked yet. 
Okay, did you see any footprints outside? No. Because Allie said she found tiny little footprints. Go ask her. Allie, what? did you think the footprints were grizzly footprints or man footprints? It looked small, so it could be man footprints. You looked everywhere in the house. Yes. Can you? Come here, dude. Mim kitty? Mim kitty? Kitty kitty. Dude. Aw, kitty. She's in the backpack yeah, in, in the closet. Kenya, <laughs> yeah. did you put her in there? Did you put her in the backpack? Who did? Did you put her in this closet? Kenya? So kitty. I have a camera. She's like, I'm okay to stay that here. watches this area. Do you want to say yes or no? Did you put her in there? You did put her in there. In the backpack? So why didn't you be honest with us just now? Because. Why did you? Why'd you close the door on her? Okay, listen, Canyon, that could have been bad. Do you realize that? Mm -hmm. We don't shut the kitty in anything. Nothing, we don't put the cat in anything. We don't put her in backpack, unless we're gonna be with her. We don't put her in closets, we don't put her anywhere. She doesn't have food or water or her litter box in there. And we couldn't find her. Everyone thought she was got outside and we got hurt. We don't put her in anything, do you understand? Mm -hmm. And we definitely don't tell a lie about it yeah, either. Yeah, and you don't, you have to be honest about it. Are you in trouble? Yes. You were out there in the hot tub the whole time and you knew that you put the cat in there, huh? And when you went outside to look for her, you knew where she was. That is a that lie. That is a lie, that is not honest. We have to be honest, you have to be honest. So, no more cat touching for you for the whole weekend. You don't even get to touch her because she is not a toy like up in your bedroom or in the toy room that you just leave there. She's a living, she's living. Don't put her in stuff, okay. understand? Mm -hmm. And never lie, it doesn't help. Everybody was scared, worrying, all you had to do is say, I put her in the closet, but you were worried about getting in trouble. Well, guess what, you got in trouble anyway. And now you're in trouble for lying too. Okay, back to schoolwork. So your middle number is number, and it is 10 times over the legal standard. The 11 is? Or? Yep. You can have 1.0 on that middle number and you have 11. Okay. So unfortunately, I go, if you tested balls and you got a positive, I tested those areas and I got a pretty high positive. Okay. I am guessing it is all over the home. Okay, so what would, unfortunately. what would you recommend we do next? I would recommend a full decontamination. Okay. So what that includes is ceilings, wall floors, inside cabinets, closets, the whole dusting system, and the actual furnace. Okay. And that is $4,300. Now the carpet and padding unfortunately needs to be removed and disposed of. 10 times the legal limit. 10 times. No wonder I was sick. Mm-hmm. 10 times. Which, again, you get a company in there to clean it all up, then you know that there's not an issue, right? So. $4,500. And it takes two weeks to clean it. Yeah. That's insane. Crazy. Mm -hmm. And they charge additional to remove the carpet. Holy cow. But I will say this, if we would have went and done this before, it would have changed my mind, I don't think. About the house? Yeah, I wouldn't have changed my mind. So I still feel good about purchasing the house because once we get in there and we get it eradicated and everything's taken care of, and clean, decontaminated, everything's clean, everything's good. Mm -hmm. And then we can feel good about putting, putting renters in there because then 100% sure they'll test it at that point and they'll be able, you know, they'll be able to tell us it's, it's gone. There we go, first time doing laundry in both washers and both dryers. This really is the best thing ever. Because we didn't make it here last night for Branson's birthday, we decided to come tonight. Because they didn't go out of town. And they didn't leave town. Allie didn't leave town. They were all supposed to leave. Allie, Danielle, Branson, and Mara were all supposed to leave town, and they did not. So we decided to come here for you kids and get the dinner taken care of now. We actually were planning on next week, but it worked out good today. Get it taken care of, right? And it's a Friday night, and there's a thousand people out <laughs> front waiting to get in, so we got lucky. Yeah, thank you. 
What do you say, baby boy? Thank you. Yeah, Lele. <laughs> So because of the snow, from here to where I was gonna go today, there were a ton of crashes. So in the end, it was better that me and Danielle stayed here. It's still like, I have FOMO, and I'm still gonna be a little upset because I was excited. But it's better to be alive than to miss out on a few opportunities. Even though it's hard, in the end, it's all good. It's just a little thing in your life that just had to change a little bit for safety. And in the end, we had a great night with our family. So don't take things for granted. If bad things happen or if things happen that ruin your plans, it's all for a reason. And in the end, it'll all be better. Even if it's like five months or 30 minutes, it'll change. It'll, it's good. It's a good thing. <laughs> I love you guys, and always remember that you are worth it. Bye, guys. Hey, bye, Daniel! <laughs>